It could be one of the most underrated Mario games of the last decade. Super Mario 3D World came out nearly eight years ago on the Wii U, but Nintendo has decided to re-release it to a new audience on the Nintendo Switch. And to sweeten the deal, it's throwing in a brand new bonus game, Bowser's Fury. But is this combo the cat's pajamas, or is it a clever marketing ploy to sell more copies of an old game? The storyline isn't amazing, but since when have Mario games been known for drama and deep dialogue? Mario and friends are off to save fairy-like creatures known as Sprixies from Bowser. <laughs> the crew will travel from world to world, rescuing the sprites with a little help. Of course, there are the familiar power-ups, but there are new ones. The Double Cherry lets you make a clone of yourself, adding a new strategic element to collect items and stomp enemies. But the key power-up this time around is the Super Bell, which turns your character into a cat. This allows you to climb walls and use a new SWAT attack. Yes, the game is heavily focused on cats. Not only can you play couch co-op with up to four players in this new enhanced version, you can play with family and friends online. The result, a fun if not chaotic adventure through some cleverly crafted levels filled with secrets. And there's a lot to discover. Green stars are hidden through levels, as are stickers. Now you don't need to find them all to beat the game, but it adds incredible replayability for those completionists. And if you've played the original, you may also notice Nintendo has made the game quicker. Mario and friends now move faster, adding a little more excitement. Now if Nintendo would have left it at just that, most gamers would have been more than happy. You have an impressive classic game with subtle improvements and online multiplayer, which is pretty awesome during the pandemic, and yet Nintendo took it a step further. It added a second new Mario game, and one that feels quite different than others we've played before. And some may say it's positively perfect. Easy, easy. That practically wrote itself. In Bowser's Fury, Mario isn't rescuing Princess Peach. He's trying to help Bowser Jr. rescue his dad after the King Koopa himself mysteriously transforms into the monstrosity known as Fury Bowser. This is an ambitious open world style game. The map is one large, seamless level, which has Mario collecting cat shrines, which restores lighthouses peppered across Lap Cat Lake. While some cat shrines are in plain sight, finding all of them will take a lot of exploring. And it would be much easier if Fury Bowser didn't pop up from time to time to challenge Mario. Sometimes it's a game of cat and mouse, and other times a head-to-head -head battle with Mario as a giant cat, which can feel right out of a Godzilla movie. Bowser Jr. stays with Mario for the entire adventure, helping out, sometimes pointing out secrets. He can also be controlled by a second player to swat enemies and collect items. Bowser's Fury is an interesting direction for the Mario franchise. While it has a sense of familiarity with some fun cameos and cat-like twists on old enemies, there's plenty to set it apart. I mean, what other Mario game has our hero rescuing kittens? <laughs> But there is one downfall to Bowser's Fury. The game is simply too short. The main story can be completed in an afternoon, leaving you wanting more. You just don't want it to end. But that being said, finding all the secrets will extend the game by another three to four hours. And Super Mario 3D World has its own flaws. The camera can be problematic with so many players, and it gets pretty tough, which is why it would be nice if there was an invincibility or assist mode for really young gamers who might want to play alongside their parents. It would be easy to think Bowser's Fury is just an added incentive to sell more copies of an old game, but Bowser's Fury easily stands on its own. And when you combine that with the full-length enhanced version of Super Mario 3D World, you really do have a winning combination. Even if you've played the original, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury is one Switch title you should pounce on.